Well, it's hard to believe, but January is nearly in the books. How's that workout going? Here to keep us moving is today's Get Moving sponsor, Crunch Fitness. We have Jacqueline Monroe, who's a group fitness coordinator, and Cedric Fry, who is also a group fitness instructor, hanging out with us. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, you came at the perfect day because I've got uh, Chef DT over there bringing all the goods for our mm -hmm. upcoming big game party. So for those people who may be feeling a little tired of working out already, we're going to mix it up today. Tell me about this workout you've got going on at, at Crunch Fitness. All right, so today I brought in some TRX straps. They basically, uh, I'll have Jacqueline demonstrate. demonstrate just a little something for you guys. So basically these straps will be locked into something like much higher than you are and you'll be able to pull the straps out nice and tight and you'll feel like you can just pull yourself like Spider-Man. Um, <laughs> so you'll have these straps up here and you can do squats, you can do upper body movements as well, you can do like some uh, opening V's, you can do some rows, you can do bicep curls, tricep extensions, literally almost any exercise you think you can think of we can do it with the TRX. Now, well. I remember the last time you were here, you were talking about your classes kind of being categorized b between the different areas of the body that you want to work on. Right. So where does this one fit in that group? This is a total body. Okay. Absolutely. You can work anything from your core to your arms, your legs, your calves. Okay. Shoulders. Yeah. So like a, for my class, I like to rotate upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body. And then at the end of the workout, I have like a core segment set up so you get upper body lower body and then you do some core exercises as well and this is just one of the many classes that you have offered there at crunch fitness also one for people who may like the treadmill absolutely so we have a class called tread and shen it takes place on the treadmill it gives like a roller coaster effect people are running we have walkers you can do many things in there we use the incline and the speed to change the resistance and um, the impact on the workout and people come and have a lot of fun so i know a lot of people tend to you know jump on that fitness you know bandwagon there come january uh -huh. one does it start to taper off now that we're kind of wrapping up january or are things still going strong things are still very strong yesterday i was teaching and I had two classes that were over uh, overfilled. Yeah. So we're having a lot of success with our group group fitness classes, and I see it being a continuous thing. Well, great. And maybe there's a fun Valentine's Day workout I hear in the works, so people are going to have to stay tuned probably to your Facebook Absolutely. for that for more information. For those people who are maybe wanting to get fit, what, what can we say to motivate them to come give you guys a try? Um, well, we're doing a free week, so if people want to come in and they want to talk about getting involved, we can um, give them a free week free. They just talk to the GM, and we can go from there. They can try fitness classes and see what works best for them. And there's a fitness class really for anyone and everyone. Anyone and everyone. Yeah. <laughs> we even have a fat-burning Pilates class, which encompasses a little bit of dance, a little bit of yoga, and Pilates as well. Do you have child care? Because I'm thinking a lot of parents yeah. may be like, I can't work out. I've got two kids to wrangle yeah. at home. What am I going to do with them while I'm working out? So we do have a daycare center where the parents can come drop their kids off and we'll watch their kids for two hours where while they can get a good workout in and do whatever they need to do at the gym and we'll take care of the kids and you know and that's setting a good example for your kids too by showing them hey mom and dad like to you know work out and keep their bodies healthy what's the minimum age for someone to come and work out if maybe you have um, a middle schooler or a high schooler who's also looking to you know start a fitness routine about 14 to 15 okay and yeah. they can come and try it out as well and yeah they wouldn't have their parents there if they're younger and then as they get older they can utilize the facility all right and maybe TRX is um, the class for them yeah, they can come through anytime okay well I bet the classes there that um, you lead are super fun and um, a good time and we appreciate you all coming thank you so yeah, much you. all right if you need any more information about the TRX class or the tread and shed yes mm -hmm. tread and shed head to see we'll have it posted for you there